Alright, alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Software Inc. Welcome back to Nerdsoft Studios. I am, of course, the Conflict Nerd, and today, well, today we need to go down into the server room because I made a mistake. And that mistake is that these couches are blocking the vents. Maintenance cannot get to those, uh, those, those vents. And that's kind of less than ideal. So let's just go ahead and select all the couches. We're going to delete the couches. Now, you know, people aren't going to be, they're not going to be too pleased about that. But I can just put them back in. I'll just put them in the middle of the floor. Because, you know, that makes sense. And at least, you know, they can still get to the vents. And uh, all is right with the world. I could even put one there if I wanted to. Though I don't think I'll need it. That should keep them relatively happy. You guys, yeah, there you go. You can all go and sit down. Good. They're all doing their thing. All of the uh, servers seem to be functioning relatively well. Nerdrosoft Doors is still making us some good money. And, uh, you know, every, everything is coming along quite nicely. Someone did have a really cool idea in the comments, actually. Which was, uh, when Nerdrosoft Doors XP gets released, I should effectively either remaster or kind of bring a lot of things back. So, for example, you know, the new version of... Uh, NS lock, you know, the chances are there will probably be another NS lock before Doors XP releases. So, you know, it'd be the next one will be NS lock 2 or NS lock Lite or whatever, probably lock 2, and then you would have NS lock XP or, you know, just a, re a reboot of the thing, but I uh, I I I like I like the idea of just sort of remastering a lot of old things, especially a lot of the things that made Nerdsoft Doors the, the original stick around for so long and make us so much money. Also, let's just have a little look here. Yeah, we're, we're still doing good. Our, our interest is still £437,000. I am very tempted to just add, uh, what's that, 36000 into the insurance policy. That's not the insurance policy. Yeah, I'm very, very tempted to add, or 36000 36 million. 36,000. That's pocket change at this company. That is, uh, that is, that is simply some pocket change right there. The game devs seem to be doing a reasonable job. Oh, okay, they're all, everyone's going home. The game devs are definitely doing a pretty good job here. That is something I'm, uh, I'm, I'm quite happy about. I'm actually going to change the color of their studio, though, I think. I, I kind of like the idea of maybe making it a different color. You know, these guys, it's a, it's a creative bunch. Uh, that's the exterior. You know what? I'm actually going to do that as well. Yeah. I'm going to have, like, that... Every uh, third floor is going to be orange. And that's going to look uh, interesting, I imagine. That's going to look very interesting. Can I select the entire building? Like, will, will that... If I select the entire building, that is all the floors, yeah. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I want to select all of these rooms, and I want to... Uh, yeah, just make sure that one's selected. I want to select all the rooms, and I want to set their exterior color to be... Oh, dear. Okay, well, that's less than good. Um, it would be nice to have an eyedropper. I'm going to be honest. That would be... That'd be kind of nice. Uh, I think selecting that room first might let me do it uh, the way I want to do it. But, yeah. Can, can we can we get an eyedropper or something that lets me, you know, save? Okay, uh -huh. Save a color? I, yeah, I like that. I do like that. Let's go ahead and change the interior color of uh, of the just the main room then. Uh, let's see, what do we want to go for? We've got orange on the outside, interior could just be white. But that seems kind of boring. Could be black. That actually looks... Uh, I kind of like that, to be honest. It's a bit different, but I, I kind of like it. We could go blue, or a very, very kind of dark blue. Very strong dark blue. Very strong kind of pink. Strong red. I think I might just go black. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the black. I, I kind of like that. I think it's an interesting mix. I do. And I also really like how this looks now. It does make me want to add more floors to the building though, which I may do. We do have the money to do that. We, we could do it. I am very tempted. Although I may just clone the lower floors. That could be the way to do it. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I like it as it is. I also... How many people are... Sat, I love that people are just sat down in the basement. 
I do love that. I, I do I do enjoy that uh, that little detail. Lots of people sat over here as well. Have we got any deals at the moment? Any good deals at the moment? Not really. That's fine, I suppose. We might have some come in today. Also, I really... You know what I should do? I should get a bunch of team leaders and I should put all the team leaders on the floor. That could be an idea. Although I feel like that should be at the top of this building. I feel like that that is more of a, a top of the building thing as opposed to... Uh, as, as opposed to middle of the building. Although, I guess it could be interesting. Alternatively, I could do the offices for the meantime and then when we get to what we believe is the top of the building, I could move them. I guess that would probably make sense, wouldn't it? Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's see what we can do. Let's, um, let's go for something like that as, uh, an entranceway, I suppose. And then I want something like this to be my office, right in the middle of the building. Then I want a nice big hallway at the back of the building. I don't know what way this is going to work at all, because uh, some of this is going to be very strange, but a couple of hallways around the front of the building as well on this floor. This this floor is going to be quite... Uh, Quite different to the other ones. Quite different indeed. It's gonna have ext it's gonna have hallways around the edges. It's gonna have my office in the middle. Uh, we can get a couple of bathrooms here, actually, which is good. I will make them uh, a bit bigger than the other bathrooms. Just be oh, that's not central. Oh, that's that's not good. Oh, that hurts. That that's that's painful to look at. Okay, I can fix that easily though. Now uh, we just do that. Then we just need to click you and do that. All right, so now that's what I want. Now we do this. Then we do the two bathrooms as well. I need to remember that I don't need to click on the wall tool every time. Okay, then I think... Yes, I want uh, a corridor there. And I want a corridor there. Then we can have another couple of offices on either side there and there. Then we can have a really big meeting room just here. Or we could have something here. Maybe maybe marketing could go up here. That could be interesting. We could put marketing up here. That that could actually be fun. Just, you know, move the marketing team up into the building, expand the marketing team a little bit, you know, just make them a bit better. That could be good. I I might do that. I quite like that idea. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll not bore you by doing all the little tedious details on camera. So let's go ahead and get all the elevators in and then get all the windows in. There we go. This is all coming together quite... Oh, dear. <laughs> well, that's unpleasant. Uh, this is all coming together quite nicely. I may want to just select... Uh, a lot of these rooms and change the exterior style to uh, perhaps match the rest of the building. I think I've got everything there. Uh, yeah, that room's selected, that room's selected. So now the exterior needs to be white on these floors. And there we go. All right, so now we've got our, the orange band around the building, which I actually really like. I, I think it looks really good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, sort out some of the furniture in these offices then. So my office is the middle one, obviously. You know, I'm I'm the, the owner of the company. That's going to be another office over there. Maybe game devs on one side and then the core team on the other. No, I'm the core team leader. What am I talking about? Game devs and specialists. And then marketing goes back here. I think that could work. I do like the idea of the marketing team having... Uh, a nice big office to work out of. I really do like that idea. Okay, so let's see. I mean, one, two, three, four. One, so that's another person's desk. That will not be a person's desk, actually. One, two, three, four, one, two. So it's three, three people across those desks. Uh, coffee machines in the middle, so that's six people. How many people is currently in the team? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can up the marketing team then. We can uh, we can definitely get more people on the marketing team. Uh, that seems fine by me. I think I would definitely like to uh, 
I, I definitely like the idea of increasing the number of people on the team. I think that could be good. It's going to be a bit of a mess, a bit, a bit of not a messy layout, a bit of a strange layout for the marketing team, but that'll be fine. Uh, let me put a bookshelf there and a bookshelf there for my office, and uh, let's just make sure we've got everything we're going to need. The bathrooms have what they need. Uh, I think we're more or less there. Reception, we can put some couches out here. Uh, sure, yeah, we'll do, we'll do couches. I was thinking we might do... I, I was thinking we could have done the, 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 the other ones, the bench looking things, but I kind of like the couches. I think they do the job. Lighting. Let's, let's do some lighting into the bathrooms there. Uh, put a light in front of that desk, put a light in front of that desk, put a light on the other side, put a couple of lights in my office actually. Okay, then, uh, lights there, there, and there. And now we just need to uh, need to light up all of the hallways, I suppose, which shouldn't be too difficult. Just gotta space it out nice and neat. Oh, that was not evenly. Sure, there you go. Uh, there, there. Uh, there, 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 there. Uh, there, 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 there. This is going so well. This is a riveting commentary. So exciting. Me just sitting here going there, 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 there. All right, and then one there, one there, and finally there, and there. Okay, this floor I actually quite like. I, I quite like how this is coming along. I like the layout. I think it looks uh, interesting. I would like to put a TV on the wall behind me. I would also like to put a couple of TVs in the marketing uh, room as well, just because I can. Uh, put a TV there and there as well. And now if we go to needs, I want to put a fridge there and a fridge there. I want to put an espresso machine there and an espresso machine not quite there. Uh, I would like to move that to be that way. Okay, and then my office is going to have its own fridge, which can go there. And it's also going to need a table for an espresso machine, which can go at the back there. So go to needs, go to espresso machine. I would like some decoration as well, so put a big plant beside it. Then a floor plant, a table plant there. Uh, probably want a clock in here somewhere. We'll put it over in that wall. Okay. And uh, I might... I'm actually going to go ahead and put a couch in here as well. Just because it looks interesting. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's kind of cool. Ventilation uh, should be easy enough to do if I put a vent there and a vent there. Uh, one radiator should do it. I don't actually think we needed the radiator, but sure. There's one radiator. Uh, put two radiators on that side of that room. Put two on that side of that room. And, uh, I think we probably... I'm gonna estimate only four vents for that room as well. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's skip over the details here. I don't think you need all the gory details of this build. Okay, I think we're good to move everyone into this build. Building. So let's start with me. I really like that office though. That's actually kind of annoying. I I really do like my uh, my current office. To be honest, I I also might do this just to give me that feeling of having a grand desk again. I could also put some decorations on it, such as another plant, because uh, apparently I really like plants. That's a thing. Okay, right. Let's actually do this. Let me unassign. Uh, the furniture that's all owned by me. I think it's most of that. How do you unassign it? There we go. Okay, going into the actual play mode would probably be a lot easier. Alright, so... Where exactly... There I am. Okay, so what do I own? Nothing currently. That's fine. That's good. Let's pop upstairs and then shift-click on all of this stuff. And I now... Uh, own, where is it, where is it, where is it, there's the, that's not it, that's the one, assign that furniture, so this room is now switch team, core team, and switch usage to leader, okay, so that should be fine, question is, where are the leaders on the other teams, uh, marketing, I don't need specialists, I do, employees, Marlon Howell, okay, Mr. Marlin, so specialist leader can go in that room. So what I'll do is I will shift click on this stuff and go ahead and assign that to 
Marlin there. Mr. Marlin, uh, specialist limit leader. Okay. And then I think game devs, if they have a leader. I don't know if the game devs actually do have a... I did give them a leader, right? I don't know if I assigned the leader, though. Highest lead skill, yeah, Raphael Thompson. I did not assign you. Uh, change your role to lead. That's fine. So, Mr. Raphael Thompson, you now... Congratulations, sir. You now have an office. Uh, assign that, and then set this to... Game devs. And... Leaders. Okay, then this is the marketing office. So, I guess what I should do is switch to none and then switch to marketing who may have they may have hr management on the mark that, that may be on there it isn't actually enabled for the marketing they don't have it okay so that's fine um so now we should see i don't think anyone's going to switch desk immediately there's marketing coming in going straight to work that's good they've got their new office I don't think anyone, like, I've, yeah, I've gone back to my old desk because it's the one that I was assigned at the beginning of my work day, I suppose. I haven't missed anything here, have I? Nothing's overdeveloped or anything like that. I haven't, no, we're good. I'm just apparently really taking my time today. That's different. I'm, I'm usually trying to rush through things. Although I really like how this building's coming along. I really love that orange band around it. I think it looks so good. I really do. It's kind of a shame that this building isn't in, you know, a city. But I like it. I do. I, I like it. I like the little building as well. I like that, you know, we started there technically, although, we, you know, the building used to be out here, but it's coming along nicely. I think progress is being made. And that's all that matters. That is that is all that matters. What's well, Nerdersoft Doors doing? It's going to make, uh, two, again, 2.4 million. That is, that is fine by me. There we go. That guy is making more money. Why is it? Why are we at the AM here? Why were you still at work? That seems very strange. There comes everyone to work. There's me going to my office. Uh, we should now have our team leaders. So you are specialist, right? Yep. And you are game dev. Good. Good, good, good. Let's have a look at deals of 18,000. Uh, what is that? It's a game engine? Sure. Deals team? Get that done. Don't mind if I do. Let's uh, let's get that done. Also, game devs. Apparently, you're just going to take your time. That's fine by me. Wait a minute. Where have where has the court? Oh, we're having a meeting in this building now. Okay. I feel like we probably could make a meeting floor. I'm gonna be honest. I I feel like we could make a meeting floor. That that could be an idea. I know I had one of my old company. And I know it slowed everything down, but it could be interesting to have. I just I, And it would be another floor. That would be the thing. And I, I kind of want another floor so I can get another orange level. No, we'll not do it at the minute. We don't need it right now. I might, if anything, if we need another floor, I'd rather put in a server uh, floor, but we also really don't need that. So I think we're fine. I, uh, I think we're good. We're also at 90 million. 90 million pounds. That's that's a lot of money. That is uh, that is that is crazy amounts of money. NS lamp currently 113,000 pounds every month. I mean, is that going to how much is that going to dip? How much longer can we market NS lamp? That's my question. Also, is some why are you all still at work? You all take so long to go home. Get out of the building. There we go, it's down to 83,000. That's not so bad. I'm just, honestly, the thing I'm most excited about right now is seeing what, uh, you know, what we can do for Nerdresoft Doors. That's, that's what I'm curious about. Uh, no good deals at the moment. Let's have a look at the other companies. So the worth is, like, none of them are close to me right now, which is kind of annoying. Um, Flash Industry, still 206 products, that's kind of crazy. Um, who just, who's the most recent release then? Release, the most recent, oh wow, it's actually interesting that, uh, oh no, that was only back, that was, that was earlier this year, that's fine. Okay, so, 
Wow, the, apparently, I just realized NS Lamp hasn't made a profit. I, uh, I only just realized that. That's, uh, that's, that's not good. Okay, and they, oh yeah, Gamecraft 3 also didn't make a profit. Really? Did I thought Gamecraft did make a profit. Maybe it didn't. It doesn't matter. I'm not too worried that it did make a profit. Um, NS Lamp, anyone want it? Nope. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, the Source Engine by Alpha Delight was mediocre. Will they let me buy it? Yeah, I'd like to buy the Source Engine. I will, I will absolutely buy the Source Engine, and I would also like to perhaps market the Source Engine, if I'm honest, uh, out of curiosity to see what we can do with it. Like, what, what would happen, what will happen, if we, uh, if if we go ahead and you know if if we put my marketing team behind the source engine, uh, let's let's give that a shot and see what we can do. Okay, what do we not need to see here? We don't really need to see the stats on. Uh, I do I do kind of like seeing the stats on that one. Not interested in the stats on that. And uh, source engine two. Oh God, we're actually <laughs> wait a minute. No, wait a minute. How are they making Source Engine 2 since I've just bought Source Engine? That makes no sense. That's, that's kind of silly. That is, uh... That's, that's kind of silly. Technically that, technically we would be making this. I don't know. It's, it's kind of silly. Where's my marketing team, by the way? Are they on holiday? No, they're not on holiday. There they are. Okay, I'm just, I'm really curious to see if my marketing team here can, you know, pull something out of the bag and make us some money on Source Engine. Because if we can, that'd be great. That'd be absolutely excellent if we could make back the 30000 that we just spent on it. But I don't know. I don't know if my marketing team is that good. We will find out, though, momentarily. If these guys would go home, it's kind of what I want. Get out of my building. Get uh, Get out of the building. What the, what the hell is that? An error occurred. What? Never seen that before. Uh, yeah, it made no money. Okay, and uh, an error has occurred. I'm sorry to inform you that an error occurred just now, which may cut. Okay, right. Um, if you have a recent save, um, hmm, I might not be able to save the current game right now. Uh, I feel like the error may have had something to do with the fact that I bought. Uh. This is fine. You know, I'm not worried. I'm not, I'm okay with this. It's you know, it's it's the way early access is, right? I feel it may have had something to do with the fact that uh, we are we have the deal for. I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel that deal. We had the deal for Source Engine Two, also NS Lock. Let's get you developed. Uh, we had the deal for Source Engine Two, also Sun Studio Lite develop. Yeah, that that's uh, that's possibly not a good thing if I can't save this. Okay, so both NS Lock and Sound Studio Lite are being developed on the central SCM server, which is this one, uh, which is currently, you know, it's got 425 power. It uh, is currently on 1.38% load. Uh, so that's, that's, that's kind of nuts that that's all it's taking up. That's fine by me, though. That is completely fine. Also, the NSE server is way overpowered right now. Uh, that's fine. I'm actually okay with that. You know what I might do? You know what might be a good idea? It might be a good idea to um, have some fallback servers for a lot of other things. It might be a good idea just to set the the, the central SCM backup server to um, just backup server. Because uh, it's so powerful that I think, like, generally speaking, anything can just fall back onto it. So I think we would be alright with that. I would like to select your fallback as the backup server. And I'm going to do that with all of them. I think I, I think having everything fall back onto the one server should be fine. Because in theory, my servers aren't going to horrendously fail on me anyway. And nothing is going to be on the backup server anyway, putting it under load. So as long as I can keep it nice and cool and keep everything fine, um, everything can fall back onto the, the backup server. So that should be fine. We should be all good. Everything should be gravy. As, uh, as long as that server doesn't explode, which I doubt it will. It has a lot of ventilation. It has a, an extreme number of vents around there, so I think we should be fine. And I'm going to put some more in 
just to make sure. And I can put some more on this side as well. There we go. And I can put one there, there, there. And, uh, can I get one there? Nope. Okay, I think the backup server room is probably cold enough. I, I think we're fine. Also, we have some deals. What have we got? Nothing interesting. That's fine by me. We are really good. We're, we're, we're really... We're, we're doing good on uh, NS Lock and on uh, Science Studio Lite. Although Science Studio Lite is really going to slow down once that uh, general fills up and they start doing audio development. But uh, I'm, I am happy to see that NS Lock is coming along pretty quickly. I'm very happy to see that indeed. I just kind of want it to, you know, go quicker. A little bit quicker. Just, just get it done. That's all I want. I also really don't want to see Nerdless Off Doors drop below one, uh, drop below two million. I kind of want to see that go back up. Gonna be honest. Gonna be, gonna be, gonna be completely honest. Want to see more money from Doors again. I want to see it get back up there. I want to see it make like five million again. I'm desperate to see that. I really am. Also, where are all my teams? I don't remember. I should look at the room labels. What have we got? So that's deals. Specialists are down there. Core is there. We do have a lot of empty rooms now. We've got three empty development rooms. That's, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna unify those styles. I should probably do something about that at some point. I, I really should do something about that just to, uh... You know, change things up a little bit. Get more developers in, get more people doing things. You know, just... Got, got some stuff going. Also, NS Lock is ready to go into beta, which took no time at all, which is fantastic news. So now we can release NS Lock. Yes, I would like to market it. Uh, do all of this stuff. Give that to my marketing team. Okay. And I'm also going to give them this to market uh, just before it launches. There we go. And what deals have we got? Nothing interesting. Okay, that is fine by me. Now, here's the question. Is NS Lock going to be a huge success or a complete failure? This is, uh, this is the moment. NS Lock is going to be 800... It was quite good. 862,000 pounds. I'll take that. I'll take that. The question I would like to see, I don't remember if I put it on, uh, what, what I put this on. It's on, uh, it is on Nerdresoft Doors. Doors hasn't had an improvement, but time might need to skip before I'm going to see that improvement. Let's have a look. What have we got? Let time skip. Time skips forward. Eh, I don't know. It hasn't skipped forward yet. Can those guys get out of my building? Uh, it didn't seem to do anything. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, we are now above 100 million. That is, uh, that is kind of great. Also, my specialists are not doing nothing. Hmm. I should maybe get my specialists doing something. I just don't know what to get them to do. I mean, they've made, they've made lock. I'm tempted to say a web-based game. I am tempted. It could be interesting. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's, let's see what we can do. Most recent release with NS Lamp, it was outstanding, it'll do. Audio tool is Sound Studio, that'll do. It's gonna be on the, uh, Specialists Dev, gonna have 3D graphics, it's gonna have music, it's gonna be an MMO? I don't think it should be an MMO. QI testing, it's gonna take more than a year. Uh, Specialists. A 3D web-based MMO. I... <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Um, hmm. Okay, World of Nerdcraft. That'll do. World of Nerdcraft. Uh, you know, I'm being totally original with that name. Um, S the, the server that it's going to be on, it does need its own server, but I can change it over. So I'm going to put it on the central server uh, initially for it to run on. I don't think I need to put in anything else, but I'll change it over eventually. Okay, so specialists can start developing World of Nerdcraft. That is going to take over a year. Oh my god. It said it was going to take over a year, but apparently the specialists really know what they're doing with that audio and audio in general work. Maybe not so much, uh, not so much network. But, uh, the design on that's taking no time at all. That's really impressive. 
Let's promote Sound Studio Lite. I didn't realize that was uh, ready to go there. Also, Nerdless of Doors XP is currently great. That's that's getting there too. I'm I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited. We're getting towards some potentially big releases, some different things. Uh, let's take this and give that to the deals team. There we go. Accept and close. The deals team weren't actually doing anything there. Uh, Tiger OS. Oh, it's an operating system. Uh, we'll put that on the deals dev server. There we go. So who? Tiger OS. It's a medium operating system. When was the last medium operating system? Uh, what have we got? Type operating system. Where is operating system? There it is. There was a medium operating system there and there. Okay, so Tiger. Oh, it's is what are we what are we doing? The Tiger OS. So there's Tiger OS from seventy seven. And there hasn't been one since 1977. Okay, so my question is, who did the original one that was Smile Industries? Who's doing this one? Smile Industries. Right, so they're they're bringing back Tiger OS. I'm fine with that. Sure, let them bring back Tiger OS if they so desire. The game dev's doing a bit of a meeting there. Oh, Sun Studio Light though. Oh, we've dropped down below 2 million on Nerdless of Doors. Damn. That's not what I want to see. Also, Nerd NS Lock isn't doing so great. Um, release Sound Studio Lite. Uh, yes, I would like to market it in absolutely everything. Assign marketing. There we go. So that's uh, my AV team no longer doing anything. They can do something in a little bit. I'm just very curious to see how uh, Sound Studio Lite's going to perform. Very curious indeed. Can everyone get out of my building? That'd be great. Also, we may need more cleaners. Actually, there's a bunch of them sat there. This floor isn't there. This floor is kind of filthy. Why aren't they doing... Oh, what have we got? Oh, almost a million on that. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, I really would like all of you to get out of my building. There we go. It isn't... Nothing is boosting nervous of doors anymore. I guess that's the way these things happen. Also, this is quite dropping quite quickly, uh, which is fine, I suppose. But yeah, the, I mean, we are making some good money off of all our products. Like, everything we release is making some good money. Uh, Nervous of Doors is the highest profit with 172 million. The most recent release. Yeah, Sun Studio Light, month one. Immediately made a profit. NS Lock has, you know, it's 1.6 million. Uh, NS Lamp made a profit. We're all doing so bad. It, like, Source Engine, we could... I mean, no one wants it. We could make another Source Engine, though. That could be fun. But the I, I don't really want to give that to the AV team right now. I might actually train my AV team and just keep training them until Doors XP comes out. Yeah. That might be good. I might, I guess the next project will probably be... Yeah, I mean, the next project will be a visual tool, so... Employees, I would like to select all of you. Educate. As... I'm gonna do programmers for two months in 2D. So start that education. And send off the AV team to do their thing. That should be good. What are the, the core teams still working hard on Doors XP? World of Nerdcraft is going to take a while since the specialists are apparently not very good at network, uh, which is actually not their weakest point. I might select all of you and send you all off on a bit of network design. Uh, maybe for a month. Yeah, I think a month of network design could hurt, could uh, help. We'll do two months. Yeah, two months of network design. Could uh, help my specialists a little bit. Okay. That should be good. Tiger uh, OS is coming along pretty quickly there. We could promote that and totally screw over that company if I wanted to. Uh, I don't think I will. I'm not that much of a horrible human being. Uh, only a slightly horrible human being. Also, Brotato Uprising coming along pretty quickly too. This is good. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this company. Like, I'm really, like... 
I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm feeling that this company is uh, is the one to stick around for another little while. I mean, this is good. I, I don't think this company is going to have the problems that we had previously with uh, what the previous one was. Oh, God, I've completely forgotten the name of it. Was it Conflict Inc.? It was, wasn't it? It was Conflict Inc. I would like to accept that and give it to my deals team. There we go. All right, maybe I want to... I probably want to close these anyway. I'm not too interested in seeing my... The deals in a lot of detail there. The only thing I want to see... The only thing I'm interested in is seeing Brotato Uprising get out of the design phase and into alpha. That's all I want from my game devs. Although they're really taking their time with it. This is also going to take its time, which is... I guess, to be fair, it's of course it's going to take its time. It's not being developed for the next two months. Come on, Brotato Uprising. Come on. You're so close to uh, to pulling out of design and getting into alpha. I mean, if the operating system gets there before you, that's going to be just a bit embarrassing. And we are good to move into alpha. There we go. And Tiger OS is almost ready to, uh, yeah, there we go, release. That's, that's Tiger OS coming out next month, I suppose. What do we got? Yeah, Micro Studios plans to release a web-based game. They're releasing a web-based game next month. Well, good luck with that. Uh, I wish you all the best, but World of Nerdcraft will probably be significantly better. If I do say so myself. Is that my specialist team? No, that's my deals... My deals team? Oh, yeah, I moved my deals team into this building, didn't I? Those are my specialists. Who are... Actually coming along really quickly with uh, World of Nerdcraft. I'm really excited about this. I really am. I want World of Nerdcraft to be good. And they're not taking a long time doing it. We're, also, we're, we're currently making 1.7 million on Nerdresoft Doors. I would actually like to have a look at that. Nerdresoft Doors released uh, almost five years ago. And has been making us millions ever, every month since. So that's kind of crazy. That is, uh, that is kind of crazy that that one product has made us so much money. And we're still marketing it today, almost five years later. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's nuts. That's, that's nuts. I didn't have that in the first season. Didn't even know this could be a thing. But that is absolutely nuts. We're at 111, 111 million pounds and rising. That is just crazy to me. We're making so much money. And I'm very much okay with that. But with that in mind, folks, I'm going to leave it there for today. So thank you kindly for watching. This has been Software Inc. I've been the Conflict Nerd. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.